Hi, welcome to another Game 2.10 tutorial. My name is Eddie, and this time I'm going to show you how to create this orange fruit. And I also did this uh, tutorial in Game 2.8, but I'm going to show you how to do it in this version with different techniques. Okay, just let's start. Go to File, New, and create a new image, 1920 by 1080. And then select the gradient tool. And go to your uh, gradient dialog and select the orange gradient. And then make sure on the option, Shape, that is linear. And then come to the top of the canvas and click once. And press the Control button and hold. And then just drag down then press enter to accept add a new layer on top and name this new layer orange and we're going to make the dimension for this new layer 800 by 800 pixels and then we want to bring this canvas to the center so select the alignment tool and click on the uh, square canvas first and you're going to see that you have a selector when you see these four dots showing and then go to the option and select align center of target and click and align middle of target click again and that's what those will bring it to the middle and we want to fill this canvas so go to the foreground color and select this color FF8B04 and then click on the foreground and just drag the color to the canvas to fill the canvas after that uh, duplicate the layer and go to filter noise HSV noise okay and here we are going to work on the value only so click on the value and just increase the value all the way to the max and click OK alright and then uh, what we're going to do we're going to use the gimmick uh, plugin and this will become uh, the peel of the orange and we're going to make that effect so go to filter and select gimmick and the first thing you have to do is go to uh, all the plugin or the filters and select light and shadow and click on the drop on the drop down and select from there relief light okay and this is the configuration it's already done so just follow ambient lightness is going to be 0.50 specular lightness all the way to 2 specular uh, size 0.05 the darkness leave it at zero the light smoothness 0 0.20 for the X and Y the X 54 the Y 45 the Z light 1 and the C scale make it zero and the last one image smoothness make it 0 0.50 and then click OK and this is a little bit too rough and what we're going to do, we're going to the layers mode, layers blend mode, and, and select from here uh, soft light. And then reduce the opacity to 55. And then click on the top layer, right click on it, and then select from the option merge down. Okay. And then what we're going to do, we're going to uh, make the orange, the roundness of the orange. So Go to filter, distort, and apply lens. And here we're gonna leave lens uh, refraction in this as is, but we want to get rid of this uh, white background. We want to make it transparent. So go to the background color and click, and select the last option where it says A. That means alpha. So click on the level and just bring the level all the way to your left, and that will make the transparent layer on this one and then click OK 
and click OK to accept again. Okay, and then what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, right click th this layer, the top layer, and select from the menu uh, layer to image size. And then duplicate the layer once again and go to filter, noise, and choose HSV noise again. And here we're going to select the value again, but we're going to make it 0 0.3 or 0 0.300 and then click OK. And after that, uh, just go to the blend mode and select multiply and reduce the opacity to uh, make it uh, 30. Okay, and then uh, right click the layer once again and select merge now. Okay. And then uh, what we're going to do, we're going to create a nice shadow on this side of the orange. Since the light, we're going to create it here. And we have a nice a shadow that make it a little bit more uh, 3D look. And for that, we're going to use the layer effect plugin. So go to layer, layer effect, and select the inner shadow. And here, uh, the, I have the configuration already done. So leave the color as is and the blend mode and leave it at multiply. Now to reduce the opacity to 20 and the angle make it a negative uh, 160. The distance is going to be 70 and the size is going to be 60. Now this is a big size it's going to take a little bit longer. If you have a faster computer it might take uh, less time but you know bear with the plugin okay. Just click OK. Okay, and this is a nice pretty shadow. Since the light is going to become here, this is what we wanted. Now we want to create a nice shade along the edges of the orange. So go to layer, layer effect, and select this time in a glow. And I have the configuration done too, just follow. Uh, now to change the color, don't uh, just uh, right. Uh, left click just right click on the color and select black and then change the layer mode to overlay the opacity is going to be 20 the choke is going to be 20 the size is going to be 60 and just click OK again All right, that's a nice shading for the for the for the orange. Now, uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, select the top layer, and we're going to add a new layer. And this one, we're going to name it reflection. And this is where we're going to put the reflection of the light. So uh, after that, change the foreground to a light color uh, we're going to select FF uh, C uh, let's say 09 C or make it FF E 09 C make that one it's a, a yellowish lighter color and then select the brush tool and select from your brush the harness 050 brush, it's a soft brush, and um, make the size for this brush a pretty big size, 700 pixel. Then come to the canvas and click on the uh, left side of the orange, it should be your right side, and this could be like the upper uh, left side of the orange, and just, just around there where I'm pointing right now, and just click once. 
Okay, and then change the layer blend mode to uh, linear light. Let's find linear light um, right here. Linear light and reduce the opacity to 20. And we have a nice, nice shadow on the left side of the orange. Okay, now click on the eye of the background layer and make sure you're on the top layer okay what we're going to do we're going to create a new layer with all this uh, effect so right click on the top layer and select from the menu from the top you're going to see it new from visible and we have all those effect into one layer now uh, click on the background again to make it visible and click on these layers in between except for the top one we don't need them anymore we have everything in one layer okay and then what we're going to do we're going to select the warp transform tool this is a new tool the game 2.10 just uh, added to to the, to the tools and then make sure that on the behavior you select grow area uh, the size is going to be 800 the hardness is going to be 80 the strength is going to be 80 and then come to the top of the orange to the top center in between the orange and the edge of the canvas and just click twice to make a, a little dent there okay then after that uh, add a new layer on top and this new layer uh, name it shoulders and the shoulders is the groove that you see on some of the uh, fruits on top it's just like grooves and and we're going to create the effect of that too so uh, after that uh, change the foreground color make it white if you hit this if you hit, if your foreground was a white your uh, background just click the swap uh, arrow and this will bring the the white to the foreground okay and then select the brush tool again and this time select the thin star brush and this thin star brush we're going to make it a uh, make it 400 pixel okay and come to the canvas to the middle of the orange and just just click once and then select the warp transform tool again and go to the behavior and change the behavior back to move pixels and leave everything as is and then come back to the orange to the bottom of the orange to so the edge part make sure that the, the middle of the, of the brush is in the, on the edge and just click and drag up just hold and click and drag up to the top and don't pass the edge of the orange not even uh, uh, not even the tip of the of the star just make it right in the center and make it off the the edge and just click enter to accept and after that just go to uh, filter distort and boss and here we're going to leave the eyes mode as 30 the elevation we're going to change it to 120 and the depth change it to 50 and then click OK then come to the layers blend mode and change this blend mode to uh, linear burn and reduce the opacity to 45 okay and then uh, what we want to do we want to apply some effect to this right here we need to make it a little bit more realistic so we're going to use the layers uh, layer effect again so we'll go to layer layer effect and select this time drop shadow and here I already had the configuration also so change the color right here you have to click right click and choose from from the option white then change the uh, blend mode to screen okay and leave the opacity as is and then the angle change it to 110 
the distance is going to be 10 the spread 20 the size 40 and make sure you have this option layer knocks out drop shadow uh, check and just click OK And then go back to layer, layer effect, and select this time bevel emboss. And on bevel emboss, the style is going to be inner bevel. The depth is going to be 65. Make sure it's in direction is up. The size is going to be 20. The soften, make it 5. The surface contour, make it ring. The angle is going to be 140. The altitude, make a 10. Choose uh, the control, the colossal contour ring, also, and then increase the opacity, the highlight opacity to 100, and just click OK. That made it a little bit more realistic, more dent to it, and more depthness. Uh, now, select the top layer, shoulders uh, highlight, and add a new layer on top. And this new layer, we're going to name it Stem Base. Stem Base. And this is where we're going to uh, put the stem base. So, select the brush tool, and from the brush, select the stem base bro brush uh, make this uh, brush uh, 125 size 125 and make the aspect ratio 14 come to the canvas and click on the middle of the shoulder of the groove click once and that will make the stem and then add a new layer on top and this time name it stem go to your brush dialog and select the stem brush and come to the orange the top of the orange and make sure you're on top of the stem or right there just about there and just click once and then uh, add a new layer on top and name this one leaf And select the leaf or leaf number one or leaf one brush and here before you do anything make sure that you click on the middle of the stem right here and make sure the top the of the leaf is on a little bit not not outside or not or, or on the edge is more inside or on the uh, stem so click once and you have a nice leaf now we want to create a shadow for this uh, orange and also for the leaf and the stem too so uh, what we're going to do we're going to first work on the orange itself so go to the layers dialog and select the visible layer and then go to filters light and shadow and select perspective okay here in this perspective we're going to make the angle 105 the relative distance of horizon leave it the same the relative length of shadow make this one 0 0.7 the blur make it 20 and the opacity make it 70 and just uh, click OK and we have a nice shadow for the orange since the light is coming out from this side it goes with with that and then select the stem uh, layer and we're gonna apply for the stem and the leaf uh, the same filter but with different uh, configuration so go to filter and select from ratio perspective Okay, 
and what we're going to do here we are on, only going to uh, uh, work on the angle and the angle make it uh, 160 and click OK that made a nice uh, shade on the uh, stem you know light shade and then click on the leaf go to filters reshow perspective and then we want for the angle 94 the relative distance make it 3.5 uh, the relative length of shadow make it 0 0.9 and just click OK now that's that's a nice shower for uh, the leaf and that's about it for this tutorial and I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I'm gonna see you next time with another easy to create tutorial in Gintoon Point 10. Yo, you feel the